Last week, Ms. Orr's local school board turns over 21 million of financial assistance to DepEd Ms. Orr, DepEd El Salvador, DepEd Hingoog, and ALS. Gov Bambi protects Ms. Orr from Podet. And Provincial Population Office hand over 677,000 pesos 700 of mobilization fund to barangay population volunteers and municipal population officers. Good morning, Ms. Sami Sarantal. This is the much-anticipated presentation of Governor Bambi Emanu's accomplishment report. Governor Bambi Emanu's activities from the previous week has both safeguarded the province from calamities and propelled Ms. Sami Sarantal to further advancement, all of which will be reported to you by the Provincial Information Office. Danny Abshama Jr. has Monday covered. Raymark Simania will handle Tuesday. Clarice Enterina is paired to Wednesday. Mary Queen Exclamador will report for Thursday. Regiana More My Guy will detail Friday. And Mary Jane Salimbao will deliver the consolidated report. Governor Bambe Manu and the local school board doubles their efforts on further reinforcing Ms. Sami Serental's education sector by turning over 21 million pesos of financial assistance to DepEd Ms. Or, DepEd El Salvador, DepEd Hingoog, and ALS. Here is Danny Abshama Jr. for the details. Basic services in the province continues to be enjoyed by every Ms. Misnan through the provincial government of Ms. Sami Oriental. On Monday, in relation to the celebration of Araw na Parangal during the Education Week celebrated every first week of December, the provincial government of Ms. Samis Oriental, headed by Governor Bambi Mano, through the local school board spearheaded a ceremonial turnover of financial assistance worth 3,365,100 pesos for the division of Ingog City and an amount of 15,605,800 pesos for the division of Mesami Oriental along with the division of El Salvador City with an amount of 1,042,600 pesos so with an honorarium for the alternative learning system amounting to 1 million pesos. Additionally, 150 reams of bond paper have been given to the division of Ingog City. Present along the event were Provincial Board Members Gerardo Boboy Sabal III, Virgilia Bibing Dumadag, Dexter Yasai, Kerwin Jessel de Villa, and Leonardo Win Stanley, together with PESO Manager and LSB Secretary Mr. Jerome Mundo, LSB Project Manager Ms. Caroline Neri, Schools Division Superintendent Ms. Sami Serental, Dr. Jonathan De La Peña, and SDS Division of Ingog City Representative Ms. Oliva Saranza. This initiative is funded by the PJMO, where each teaching and non-teaching personnel of the mentioned three divisions of Misami Serendal shall be receiving an amount of 2,000 pesos as honoring for their relentless service unto the learners around the province. Additionally, on Monday, the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, through its head Mr. Fernando Vincent Soto T, spearheaded the turnover of Bambi Cab and one set of grass cutter to Barangay San Antonio of Asaan and the Naplanan National High School of Claveria, Misamis Oriental. In attendance, in joining personalities were board members Leonard Win Stanley, Dexter Yasai, Boboy Sabal, Eric Hu, and Saisai Imano. On the other hand, the grass cutter in behalf of the principal of Hinaplana National High School has been received by Hinaplana na Barangay Captain Honorable Edwin Cabuncal Casino, while San Antonio Barangay Captain Honorable Charlito R. Eugenio and his Barangay Council received the Bambi Cab. The mentioned assistances will be of great help in augmenting Barangay services, especially to all constituents who will greatly benefit from it. Danny Vertidazo of Shama Jr., PIO. Provet's never-ending quest to provide basic yet vital services to misamisnans continues on Tuesday, keeping everyone well away from harm's way. Let's have bring Mark Semania for the update. Exactly, Provet continues to enact their mandate to provide free spay and neuter services for dogs and cats within the province. On Tuesday, the Provincial Veterinary Office, in coordination with the Mantikao Municipal Agriculture Office, conducted spay and neuter services to dogs and cats in Barangay Poblacion, Mantikao. 63 cats and dogs availed the free services, aimed to control their population and to further strengthen Governor Bambi Imano's campaign against rabies in the whole province. Ray Mark Simania, PIO. On Wednesday, Governor Bambe Emano convenes the entire Liga ng Mga Barangay, Misamis Oriental Chapter, in a bid to further prepare the province for the expected onslaught of Typhoon Odette. 
Here is Clarice Enterina for the report. The provincial government of Misamis Oriental with Governor Bambi Imano's leadership always gives high regard in the power of preparation wherein not missing every strike of calamity. On Wednesday, December 15, 2021, the Liga ng Mga Barangay Misamis Oriental Chapter successfully conducted a gathering activity in preparation for Typhoon Odette. During the event, Governor Bambi Imano rendered an inspirational message to all the attendees together with the presence of the 25 ABC President all over the province headed by ABC Federation President Board Member Leonard Win Stanley and Board Member Bubuy Sabal. This avenue gave emphasis on establishing precautionary measures for all ABC Presidents in influencing their constituents through this challenging time to become good stewards of peace and order. In addition, Office of the Barangay Affairs Head, Mr. Henner Alaba, gave an update regarding the status of requested and ongoing barangay infrastructure projects. Clarice Interina, PIO. As Typhoon Odette ravages northern Mindanao, Governor Bambe Manu shows that once again, he is one step ahead against all forms of adversities as he and the entire provincial government successfully mitigates all hazards and swiftly responds to every call for aid from Misa Misnans. Delivering the report is Queen Exclamador. Yes, Jing. Dynamic and always present. These characteristics define Governor Bambi Imano's leadership, apparent in all his dealings towards transparent and efficient public service. On Thursday, December 16, 2021, in continuous effort to maintain peace and order in the province and disaster preparedness, as well as to further strengthen the campaign in mitigating the spread of COVID-19, the provincial government headed by Governor Bambi Imano conducted a joint Provincial Peace and Order Council, Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council, Provincial Anti-Drug Abuse Council, and Provincial Task Force and Local Communist Armed Conflict 9 PTF LCAC meeting for the fourth quarter of calendar year 2021. The meeting highlighted the accomplishment of every council for the second and third quarters and reported updates on the ongoing programs, projects, and activities. In another event, recognizing the efforts of the Barangay Population Volunteers in providing appropriate family planning service, the provincial government of Misamis Oriental, through the Provincial Population Office, turned over mobilization fee worth 677,700 pesos for the 278 BPVs and 20 Municipal Population Officers for the first and second quarter during the Barangay Population Volunteers General Assembly. The mobilization fee will further strengthen, sustain, and mobilize the BPVs to track and follow up couples with unmet needs for modern family planning and provide counseling at the household level. In behalf of Governor Bambi Imano, Provincial Population Officer Mr. Andrew Gapuz, Ms. Caroline Neri, and Popcom 10 Director Neil Aldrin G. Omega handed over the said assistance to all BPVs and MPOs while Governor Bambi Imano was present via Zoom who showed his support to the volunteers. Significantly, along the surge caused by Typhoon Odette, Governor Bambi Imano visited the Balay Ninochka, Payag in the municipality of Tagulwan where Provincial Governor's Extension Office is situated under the leadership of PGEO Overseer Attorney Nadia Imano Ilipe where he witnessed the situation of all evacuees. In total, there were 132 families with 491 individuals who are given temporary shelter and were well taken care of in the said temporary evacuation area. For certain, all of the people are still hopeful that every storm shall really pass and are glad of Governor Bambi Imano's immeasurable care for them. And this mirrors his leadership tagline, Kung taga miss or ka, secure ka. Queen Exclamador, PIO. MOPJ strategically conducts another upland galugad within its facility on Friday, ensuring that peace and order prevails as the inmates go through the road of rehabilitation. Regina Mormaigai will give the complete details. The pillar of peace and order remains one of the paramount priorities under Governor Bambi Imano's leadership, of which the MOPJ continually gears on. On Friday, December 17, 2021, another Operation Greyhound, or commonly called as Oplan Galugad for this year-round, 
happened successfully in Misamis Oriental Provincial Jail Facility, headed by Provincial Jail Warden Robert Roy Bahian. During the event, gadgets, improvised bladed weapons, lighters, cigarettes, drugs, charger, and accessories have been confiscated from the inmates. Without delay, Provincial Warden Bahian took appropriate actions and thorough investigation in preventing the mentioned paraphernalia and contrabands in entering MOPJ premises again, for this follows through the cause of rehabilitating the inmates. The said search is made possible through the coordination with the Provincial Capital Security Guard and Philippine National Police. This initiative also meant keeping the safety and security of all persons deprived of liberty and jail personnel, assuring their welfare inside the prison cells above all. Raji Inamura Tunel, my guy, PIO. The consolidated accomplishments of the provincial capitals, offices, and departments ensures that whatever happens, the established advancements and developments set forth by Governor Bambe Manu continues. For the consolidated report, here's Mary Jane Salimbao. Governor Bambi Imano remains an active leader in all aspects of the society as shown in his excellent maintaining of the welfare of all Mitsumisans. For the consolidated report on Sunday, December 12, 2021, the Provincial Tourism Office headed by Attorney Jeffrey Saklot toured the members of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines or IBP to different tourist spots in the province during the 25th House of Delegates Convention. This includes the Divine Mercy Shrine in El Salvador City and the Lasang Secret Adventure Park and Signature Resort in the Municipality of Initao. The guests highly appreciated the support given by the provincial government which left an unforgettable experience in their hearts. Um, we would like to thank uh, Governor Emano for the hospitality of the people of uh, Misamis Oriental for um, the support they have given us in this IBP 25th House of Delegates Convention. We are truly humbled by the overwhelming support given to us by the province. Um, the place is admirable, the people very hospitable, and um, we would like to thank everyone for making our HOD a success. Thank you for all the help. Meanwhile, during the 22nd Association of Tourism Officers of the Philippines or ATOP National Convention with the theme Pinas Forward 2.0 held at Manila Metropolitan Theater, Ms. Inder Lafay Obineta was given a certificate of recognition by ATOP President Mr. Arwin Paul Alfonso Linga to recognize her great contribution in promoting tourism in the Philippines. As a senior tourism officer in the province, Ms. Obineta expressed her gratitude for the said recognition of which inspired her to continue her efforts in promoting tourism not only in the province but also in the whole Philippines. Still for this week, the Misamis Oriental Provincial Jail headed by Warden Robert Roy Bahian profiled around 300 unvaccinated inmates inside the jail facility. This is done to assess the current condition of the inmates as they are said to get vaccinated with Janssen COVID-19 vaccine on Wednesday, December 22. This is in line with the campaign of the Provincial Health Office and Provincial Interagency Task Force which aims to vaccinate all employees and the people of Misamis Oriental to attain the 70% herd immunity soon and to protect all PDLs from the spread of virus inside the MOPJ. Additionally, in line with the Senior Citizens Month of Celebration 2021 with the theme, Mahalaga sila lolo at lola sa panahon ng pandemya, the Provincial Government of Misamis Oriental through the Provincial Social Welfare and Development Office, headed by Mr. Jun Neymar Abelia, held another series of distribution of hygiene kits, sacks of rice, adult meal plus, and a financial assistance worth 10,000 pesos to the presidents of the Misamis Oriental Federation of Senior Citizens Association or MOPSCA of the Philippines and Municipalities of Magsaysay, Medina, Talisayan, Balingwan, Subbongpogon, and Mingo City. Simultaneously, the search for model Filipino family was held, with the winners from their respective municipalities received an 8,000 pesos prize and a plaque of recognition. This initiative intends to provide assistance and to give importance to senior citizens in the province for their great contribution in the society, as well as to give recognition to families who serves as a good role model in their community. Present in the events were board member Wayne Militante, MOFSCAP presidents, MSWDs, and PSWDO Senior Citizens Program focal person, Ms. Imlen Kalingin. Kani, dako bininamgi, kalipay. O dako sad na mo, hindi pa abot. So, daghan kain salamat. O makita ang sad na to, malipayon ang among mga kauban ng mga seniors. Kaya, bisan sa ingon, ano na pamaagi, na dinagmay o madinag ko. 
basta na ay madawat. Mao mo gina ang ibabot sa mga seniors no, nga matabangan sila. So, mo kana sad ang among paningkamot, kami sa bon na ningkamot din na do na say among ikahatag sa ila. So, daghang kain salamat sa atong landang gobernador o bansa iyang mga konsiyo sa staff sa sa province na ani ami abot na gayud ang among gitabot. Kanan dako kayo mo salamat sa iya kayo ang magdaho nga napili day. <laughs> Kanang salamat din kay Gob sa tanan ni mga programa nga imong gihimo. Jane Salimbao, PIO. In Misami Serental's rich and colorful history, never before has the governor showed innovative brilliance, both in times of good and bad, only Governor Bambi Emano. Typhoon Odette did not only prove that the already established resiliency of Misa Misnans, but also the widely known reputation of Governor Bambi Emano as a leader who is on the ground and is with his people in times of difficulties, sharing their joys and sorrows. In his remaining 192 days in office, I know that Governor Bambi Emanu's care for his people will only grow even more. Jinkerasi, PIO.